We didn't fire Henry, he just wasn't hired. That's what DC Studio bosses have now said. Whilst also addressing the status of Gal Gadot, Ezra Miller, as well as Jason Momoa. Now, that's a cop-out to sit there and say, well, look, we didn't fire him. Uh, he just wasn't hired. I'm sure we can all agree that that is just a massive cop-out. Now, again, whether you agree or disagree that he should be fired and it should be a complete reboot or whatever, we're not actually talking about that specifically. Um, we're talking more about how uh, the sort of nonsense spiel that he's spouting now. And it is, like, he is espousing total nonsense. Whilst also basically saying that Ezra Miller could come back. What? What? Super dumb. Super, super dumb. All of this stuff, by the way, that you'll see floating around now is actually from, like, a press panel. Can't find the actual press panel. It's nowhere to be seen. But all of these excerpts is something which you can find. So it's interesting. Now, I will say this as well, just before we dive into it, ladies and gents, just want to address this. Please do consider hitting subscribe. There is over 50% of you that watch these videos that just isn't subscribed. So you clearly enjoy them to a certain degree, and you do a massive solid by hitting the subscribe button, uh, and also liking the video. Much like Twitter at the moment, YouTube is doing something very, very strange with channels and videos, and they're not getting the reach that they should. So... I really appreciate it if you could turn those bell notifications on or hit the like button. Just interacting with the video in a certain way can assist you guys getting these videos in your feed. But this is all off the back of yesterday's announcement of Gods and Monsters, which is, of course, chapter one of the brand new DCU slate or DC Studios slate. Uh, James Gunn has separated this between DC Elseworlds and DCU. So there are two separate entities, canons, worlds, law, whatever you want to call it. And off the back end of that, obviously lots of people were talking about what's happening moving forwards with certain actors, certain characters. Uh, so there was a Q&A with DC Studios co-CEO James Gunn and Peter Safran who addressed several lingering questions and concerns from those in attendance. Like I say, this is difficult to find. I have not found it yet. I'd like to find it because you're damn right sure that half these excerpts are not telling the full picture. We know that, you know, these sort of journalists are very selective in what they choose to put out there. So, of course, the journey to this new era for DC-based content was not without controversy because... Henry Cavill was fired. He seemed to be the unifier, actually, amongst most fans. And they said this. We didn't fire Henry, said James Gunn. Henry was just never cast. What? What? He was in a cameo, and that was the end of his story. Okay, sure, fine. I mean, look. That's like turning up, you know, from a job interview and going, oh, how did I do? Well, look, uh, we're not, you know, we're not firing you. We're just not hiring you. Sorry, what? Or a renewal of a contract or a promotion. Well, we're not going to fire you, uh, but we're not hiring you? What? It's a cop-out. We know he was fired. A lot of people made assumptions which weren't true. But for me, it's about who do I want to cast as Superman? And who do the filmmakers want to cast? For me, for this story, it isn't Henry. I like Henry. He's a great guy. I think he's gotten dicked around by a lot of people, including former regimes of this company. But this Superman isn't Henry for a number of reasons. Okay, oh, look, I, I can buy a lot of this stuff, but it's just this stupid word salad of, well, we didn't fire Henry, he was just never cast. Okay, fine, sure, whatever. So, on the topic of Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot, uh, Zachary, Levi Shazam, Aquaman, Ezra Miller, they said this stuff, and this is the real concern, 
right? There's no reason why all the people you mentioned couldn't be part of the DCU. We just haven't decided what the story is that we want to tell that incorporates Shazam or Aquaman, said Safran. Okay, I mean, <laughs> sure. I'm going to, you know, err on the side of caution and say maybe for Zack, you know, Zack Levi, they're playing ultra coy at this point in time because obviously he's got a film coming out and things like that. Maybe that's why. Wonder Woman, they could just be very honest and say, yeah, no, she's done. But then I guess uh, that, uh, you know, she's going to cameo in The Flash. Maybe that's why. I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense. You're so straight down the line on certain individuals. Why not be on others? And then we got this comment about Ezra. This is the real slap in the face. Ezra is completely committed to his recovery. We're fully supportive of that journey that he's on right now. And when the time is right, when he feels that he is ready to have the discussion, we'll all figure out what the best way forward is. But right now... He is completely focused on his recovery. Okay. I'm I'm going to I'm going to throw it out there. I really do sincerely hope that Ezra Miller has no future in the DCU. Now, obviously on last night's Hcast we discussed this and Paulie, my co-host from the Latino Slant said, "No, I think he's going to stay. I think he's going to be absolutely fine." But if you end up binning off Henry Cavill and your nonsense reply is, well, we didn't fire Henry. Uh, he was just never cast. And this chump that we have video footage of him choking a woman out on a Warner Brothers, uh, you know, production or during his Warner Brothers production in Iceland, you know, and he's he's been charged with multiple issues in Hawaii, throwing chairs at people's heads and threatening people, stealing from people. If he doesn't get fired, and you fire Henry, oh no, sorry, you don't fire Henry, you just don't cast Henry. I mean, there's no justice in the world, is there? So look, this is all very diplomatic at this point in time. Very political-based statements. It's very sort of roundabout ways of saying stuff. But I really do sincerely hope Ezra does not get cast. Sure, you don't have to fire him, just don't cast him. All right. He's not a good actor. He's not a good Flash. People don't want to see him. But James Gunn did open up with basically saying, I love The Flash. It's a great movie. I absolutely think it's amazing. And I brown nosed it last night. So there you go, ladies and gents. Please do let me know your thoughts on this down below. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Sorry for the spiel of subscribing and YouTube and all that stuff. But look, I need to say it every now and then. YouTube does suck donkey, do you know, donkey dong at certain points. But anyway, thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Take care.